Is Japanese 151 being reprinted? Let's look at the numbers. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Bit of an impromptu video for you today because I woke up to an Instagram feed full of Japanese resellers who had slashed the prices on 151 booster boxes. Now, I also had some messages in my inbox saying, Rob, what's going on with these reprints? What's happening? And it was all news to me because I had just woken up. So I got the kids to school. I got some work done because I do have a full time job and I did a bit of digging to see kind of what was going on. And it does seem pretty unanimous in the suppliers and the contacts I speak to that Japanese 151 is being reprinted at some point in May. Now, of course, the Pokemon Company International don't just come out and say, hey, we're powering up the samurai robots and the laser swords that cut the cards. You know, we're retooling all of the printers uh, for a reprint in May. But it's very clear that suppliers are telling their sellers that this is coming at some point soon. And if, if it's not the case, let's say it's not, um, there has been a price drop. So perhaps the supply is outstripping the demand at this moment in time. Prices are coming down. You know, up until today, the going rate on a booster box was somewhere around 21,000 yen. You're already seeing boxes uh, getting posted for like 18,000 to 185. If you have a really nasty supplier, you know, a really, really good one, then you're probably seeing even bigger drops than that. So in US dollar terms, somewhere around 20 to $25, depending on your supplier. Now, why are Pokemon doing this? Well, I honestly have my, re my doubts they would reprint this set altogether, but it's always a possibility. You've got to remember that when you're investing in Pokemon cards, they can reprint anything at any time. You know, there are no limits to what they what they can do. Uh, and honestly, the reception for everything since 151 has been pretty mixed, maybe shiny treasures uh, aside. So it does make sense that they would reprint what is essentially their most popular set since EV Heroes. People love it. And also the approach from the Pokemon company does seem to have been they want to get rid of these nefarious elements, the scalping, the sky high prices, you know, the robberies and the burglaries that, that are happening. They want to kind of get rid of that stuff because they have a family image to maintain. So what's likely to happen next? What does this actually mean for you? Well, I'm throwing this together very quickly on my lunch break. I've got a busy day, but you'll see a short term drop here. You should see a short term drop. I mentioned the prices from the distributors that have already gone down. Here are a couple of the reputable sellers that cater to the Western market. Again, non-sponsored. I don't really do sponsorship here. Uh, before any shipping or additional fees, Pokeyeni is at about 180, uh, not adjusted yet. I don't, I don't think he's adjusted his prices yet, if he even will. Um, Cali Poke House 164, I don't think that's adjusted for, for this news or what's happening behind the scenes. And then you've got good old Sneaker Dunk at 106. These guys seem really plugged into what's happening in the market. Um, I didn't check the prices yesterday because, you know, I only found out about this today. Uh, but that seems like a pretty low price, price. And these guys are always the lowest as well. Just as an aside, if you're someone who exclusively shops on eBay for this kind of stuff, um, you, I think the eBay sellers are going to get squeezed a little bit. You know, they've bought boxes they need to now flip a potentially a lower margin they'll have some margin in there um, I would expect a 10 to 15 dollar drop on the eBay price so here's the pokey data IO price there it's about 200 dollars a box for, for the last you know few weeks I'd expect it to go down to 185 190 possibly a little bit lower now that's the pricing. What should you be doing? How should you be reacting as a collector and investor? Well, as a collector, it's great. You should see some of the singles drop a little bit more. Um, you know, you can get these sealed products for a lower price now, which is great. Um, if your first reaction is, man, I'm an investor, this sucks. Like my investment's going down. Look, don't panic, right? Maybe you're new to the investing game. This is what investments do. They can go up, they can go sideways, and they can certainly go down. They can certainly go backwards. Assess your time horizon, right? If you got into buying these booster boxes like myself, like, you know, I'm, I'm probably going to be a little bit higher if they keep going down uh, when I first bought them, you're holding for like a five to 10 year period, surely. Like this will just be a little bit of a blip, a drop in the ocean, as they say. Uh, this really shouldn't affect things at all. It doesn't change my price targets for this set. And you should also always, let this be kind of a second list, you should always have some dry powder on hand. You know, there should always be a cash portion of your portfolio for emergencies or when a great investment opportunity comes up. And I do think there is a buying opportunity right here with this set. You probably, you know, I wish I could tell you, I don't have a crystal ball, guys. Like, I just want to make that clear. I don't know what's going to happen, right? I know I may seem like it, but personally, I'm going to be waiting until kind of end of April, May time to see what the ramifications of this potential reprint really are to see if I want to buy even more of these boxes. My feeling is the market will just suck it up 
and maybe the lower price is just a lower price for a while before it goes up again, or maybe possibly they do another reprint. I do think there is genuinely such a love, like a genuine love for this set. And as I said, the newer sets haven't been doing as well, that people will continue to come back to Japanese 151 and English 2 for years and years to come. So moral of the story is look for the deals out there. Don't assume that it's not going to be reprinted just because you think it might happen. Um, and if you don't already follow me on Instagram uh, or here, please subscribe. I try to keep you guys up to date on things that are happening with useful information. Until next time, guys, take it easy.